Hey, food factory managers, are you getting a headache just thinking about planning a new freeze-drying production line? Well, today we're diving deep into the tricky world of determining the area requirements and layout planning for freeze-drying production lines. As a trusted freeze-drying equipment manufacturer, we provide our clients with detailed layout plans and estimated space requirements tailored to their entire facility. To make things even easier, We've prepared a reference table that includes the footprint of our equipment for different production capacities and the estimated space requirements for your factory. When planning your freeze-drying production line, it's essential to focus on several key areas to ensure a smooth and efficient setup. 1. Equipment footprint. Start by confirming the dimensions and placement of both the main freeze-drying machine and auxiliary equipment with your supplier. This is a critical first step to ensure everything fits seamlessly. Tow material storage and prep processing areas. Designate adequate space for storing and preparing raw materials before the freeze drying process begins. 3. Packaging workshop. Set up a dedicated area for packaging freeze dried products efficiently and in compliance with hygiene standards. 4. Finished product storage. Allocate space for storing finished goods before they are distributed to customers. 5. Passageways and auxiliary facilities. Don't forget to include essential areas like changing rooms, restrooms, electrical rooms, control rooms, and tray cleaning stations. These are vital for smooth operations and meeting food production regulations. We know that the specific layout and dimensions for these areas can vary depending on your production scale and local requirements. If you're new to the freeze-dried food industry, these details might feel overwhelming, but that's where we come in. Stay tuned for more expert advice and tips on freeze-drying technology, and let us help you turn your production plans into reality.